Namaste. I'm Dr. Robert. And my subject today on 5-ish Minutes with Dr. Robert is how to know if we are progressing in our spiritual practices. So the first thing you should notice is that if you're doing a spiritual practice that is actually doing something useful for you, what should be happening is that, like anything else, it should be becoming more like second nature. There should be a certain amount of muscle memory. You should sit down in your usual place, in your usual meditative posture, and maybe with your usual incense and your usual whatever it is that maybe you're reciting something or visualizing something. The, the more that you do that, the more it should assist you to become more focused, for your mind to calm down, for you to go into a frame of mind that will assist you in your practice with aligning with the Supreme Reality. That's the number one thing that should happen. The number two thing that should happen is that your life should become more difficult. But wait, you will say, I, I am doing good things. I am being a spiritual person. My life should become easier. No, that is not what should happen to you. And why should that not happen? That should not happen because you are starting to work through all the various karmas that have accumulated. My mentor, the Agori Vimalananda, used to like to say that when we talk about enlightenment, what this really means is that you are lightening yourself of the burden of the karmas that are obstructing your perspective on reality. The more lightened that becomes, the clearer things become. But to go through that, that is going to encourage the things that you have to experience, and according to Lord Saturn, you have no alternative from experiencing, you're going to start experiencing them more and more. And this is what our Guru Maharaj was notorious for. People would come to Vimalananda and say, I want to meet your Guru Maharaj. And he would say, only do that if you want your life to go to hell. Because Guru Maharaj will make sure that all of your bad karmas come out first so you can deal with them and then you'll be, a better, you'll be better off. So be prepared for that. Do not assume that because you start reciting something or singing some bhajan or something that your life is going to become easy. It will eventually become easier, but it will become easier in the sense that you will gain greater equanimity. You will gain an awareness of how, and this is an awareness that I have uh, slogged my way through life to find out, that it's that because I'm by nature a very irritable person. But honestly, it takes a lot of energy to be irritable. And as you make spiritual progress, you realize, why should I be using energy to be irritable and to react and to do all these other things when, in fact, what I could be doing is using that same energy to keep myself in a place of equanimity. So one of the definitions that, that Bhagavan Sri Krishna employs in the Bhagavad Gita for yoga is to have a condition of samatha, a condition of equanimity, no matter what's happening, no matter who you're meeting, no matter who you're, how you're interacting with. The greater you can maintain your equanimity, no matter what is happening, no matter who cuts you off on the freeway, no matter who attempts to scam you, no matter what ha kind of thing happens, the greater the degree of equanimity that you can maintain, the greater you have made progress in your sadhana. In fact, it's been said that as long as you can still be thrown off your kilter, thrown off your equanimity, that means you still have things that you need to work through. And as you work through your sadhana, through your spiritual practices, this is something you will also note, that you will be able to clean up a lot of the negative things in your reality and of your personality. But there will always be something that is so deeply set in you that you're going to have to keep working on it pretty much indefinitely. As that tendency becomes reduced, as that tendency, as you're able to avoid falling into that particular trap and only stay there less and less time, then also you will know that you're making progress. This is Dr. Robert praying that everyone makes progress in their spiritual practices.